Jose, right? The Clark County Sheriff's Office uses its resources in a variety of ways to help reduce crime, including on the ground, by water, and in the air. In August of 2017, they acquired five small quadcopter drones. Since then, they have expanded to a total of 10 drones. This is our newest uh, UAS. This is the M210. Um, and <clears throat> the feature that's really significant with this unit is it has the capabilities. You can see there's two cameras um, on the device. And one of the cameras, which is the one on the left, is a FLIR camera. And that FLIR camera has infrared capability. And at the same time, it also has a regular optical camera built into it. Uh, which comes in handy because we can go back and forth between the FLIR image and then look at it and see what it looks like in just a regular optical image. And then that camera has the ability to overlay both images to give us an even better one. So that's what's significant about this. Uh, the other major significant um, difference between this unit and our other ones is this one can fly in inclement weather. The Sheriff's Office used drones 103 times last year. They have a variety of circumstances they can be used, such as vehicular accidents and high-risk situations. We use them for just about everything. We use them for uh, traffic reconstruction. So if there's a traffic accident, our traffic unit team um, has two pilots where they can uh, utilize it to take overhead pictures of an accident. Typically, if they're investigating an accident, it's usually a serious injury accident or even a fatality. So it allows them to really uh, utilize that as an investigative tool. Um, we also use them to uh, do the exact same thing with crime scenes. So if we have a homicide investigation, we can use them to take overhead pictures to give us a better idea of the whole entire crime scene. Uh, we use them for search and rescue missions. So if we have, let's say, an Alzheimer's pa patient that wanders off from a care facility, or if we have campers that get lost, um, out camping uh, northeast part of the county uh, we could utilize that to look for them. Pilots must take between 40 and 80 hours of training before flying a drone. Although the latest drone costs seven thousand dollars it is much less than getting a helicopter and easier to maneuver. We do not have an aircraft and um, really what I akin these to is this is a extremely inexpensive helicopter. Um, you know, obviously we don't, we don't have uh, uh, the pilots, we don't have the, the helicopter itself, of course, which are several million dollars. We don't have to pay for helicopter fuel, we don't have to pay for maintenance of a helicopter, which is very expensive. So that's really what this is. Once a call goes out and the drone is needed, it only takes minutes to have it in the air and recording. The drones generally fly between 200 and 250 feet high, but have the ability to go over 400 feet. It'll continue to grow. Uh, it's like we're growing now. We're adding four more pilots, um, mainly because we have more and more requests, um, not only from our own agency, um, but from other local agencies. So we partner with um, all the other police agencies here in Clark County. Um, they request our assistance. So again, that puts more of a load on, on our program. So that's why we're growing. For more information, contact the Clark County Sheriff's Office at 360-397-6150.